Good morning, everyone. My name is Faith. If you're new here, if you are not, welcome back. Sorry, the sun is so, so bright. This morning, I'm going to take you through a like how to build a skincare routine and also like trying to kind of explain some products the order it's supposed to go in and just things that worked for me that i love that could possibly work for you i want to say before i start this that i am no professional okay i am not a licensed skincare person i'm just doing what i have learned off of videos tiktoks like all that kind of stuff um, so I'm not a specialist. I am just a person who has watched so many videos and stuff on it and I want to share it with you. One of the first steps I do in the morning is use this ice roller. It's from Amazon. It's amazing. It makes my skin feel so good. It de-puffs your face i absolutely love it and you just like kind of rub it on your face and your neck and it just really helps with making your skin colder which is so good okay now that that's done i'd like to use my gua sha and my jade roller this is my gua sha and this is my jade roller for a gua sha you need to be super careful and not pressing too hard on the skin because it can cause bruising. This honestly just helps with lymphatic draining. And when you use the gua sha, you make sure like it's to it's like um, tilted towards your face and you're going up and then you kind of like jiggle it out and then you can bring it down if you want. Normally like eight times on each side I use it on my jawline and then also I use it um, right here kind of on my cheekbone line but I don't use oil so it's kind of your preference, but I think it might work better with oil. Another way that I like to use it is going up on my forehead and kind of shaking it out. And then another good way to use it is kind of going down on your neck. And as you can tell, like your face gets a little more chiseled not 100% but a little bit it just like helps form your face for my jade roller i like to go i'm um, using the big part i like to go up and down on my um cheekbone line because it kind of helps me uh, see like it kind of forms my cheekbone a little bit and i'll just do that like eight or nine times on each side i also like to use it right here And then for the tinier part, I like to go under my eye for deep puffiness. And then I like to go above my eye and my eyelid to also help with deep puffing. So now that that's all done, we're gonna actually get into the skincare parts. As I describe these, I'm gonna go in order of what the order that you should put them on in, if that makes sense. One of the most important things to need in a skincare routine is like your cleanser because that's just what's gonna clean your face. You can also use an exfoliator. It's not the best for your skin because it kind of like takes up the skin barrier, but a good cleanser, you need to make sure that you're doing your research, what's best for your skin, but also making sure like that you're not trying to find one that like rips the barrier off your skin. Like this one, um, this one says it cleanses and removes oil without disrupting the skin barrier. I love this, it works for my skin. I have very oily skin, just to kind of put that out there in case you were wondering. But my skin's very, very oily and I absolutely hate it, but cleanser is so, so important. Next up that you should be putting on your face is a toner. So a toner helps to also clean up your face that your cleanser couldn't get. 
but it's amazing because it's very light it doesn't hurt it doesn't burn i use this kylie skin milk toner i absolutely love it. it smells super i've also heard of a couple other good brands which i'll also put on the screen um but yeah you really have to experiment and find what's best for you because my sister when i put this on her the other day she said it hurt her skin so she knows that she can't really buy that because it's not good for her skin so the next thing on your list is any serum you might have i was going to use a vitamin c serum but i decided not to so i just bought this um the ordinary hyaluronic acid serum i absolutely love it this brand is amazing it's called the ordinary brand and they're affordable they have really good skincare products. You'll just have to do your research on what you should put on your face. But I absolutely love them. And it helps my oily skin kind of, it takes that oiliness out for the day. And it's not like it dries it out, but it makes it feel um, mattier. Matter? Mattier? I don't know. After you put on your serums, you need a good eye cream. I used to use this other eye cream and it was amazing. It worked for my skin, but I ran out of it and I really needed an eye cream like ASAP. So I went and bought this Kylie Skin eye cream. I absolutely love it. I think it works. Most of the time, eye creams um, are used to help you hydrate the under parts of your skin. That's really hard to hydrate. And so it helps get rid of the dark circles sometimes the puffiness it depends on what kind you get but i honestly love it it helps it works for me and also another way to get rid of your dark circles without just a cream is drinking water that is one of the main things that you need for your skin for your body um drinking water helps so much when it comes to like your skin routine so after you do an eye cream you're supposed to be doing a moisturizer i do not do a moisturizer I've tried about three or four and it has not worked for my skin. It makes me break out. It makes me feel a lot more oily. I can't find the right one. If you recommend one, please let me know. I'm always looking. I'm always trying to improve my skincare routine. So if you have any suggestions on any products, I would love to know in the comments. But also, for sure, on moisturizers, I would love to just try it out. But if you're a good person who does your skincare routine right you should be putting in a moisturizer after your eye cream okay and then one of the last things that you need is a good sunscreen i use this sunscreen by drunk elephant it took me forever to find a good one because this one doesn't really make my skin extra oily it helps keep in the oiliness but also it doesn't like finish oily it kind of finishes very smooth it's almost like a moisturizer but less oily i guess you could say and i read no i didn't read i was watching a video by hiram he if you don't know who he is he's a very good skincare um i don't really know how to finish that sentence so i'm just gonna say he is so good at skincare and he his whole like videos are about skincare so if you also have other questions or you need other answers on products, go to his YouTube. He's got amazing videos and he explains it really well. He's very knowledgeable in skincare products, makeup products, that kind of stuff. He said that if you don't put a sunscreen on after you did your whole skincare routine, it kind of goes out the window because if you're not protecting your skin at least a little bit from the sun, it's just gonna ruin your skin easier and so even if you put on these serums and these things and like it's just it doesn't work very well and i learned this from the video that he did with emma chamberlain i think it might be on her channel she was like trying to show him a skincare routine so if you are interested in that go check that out on her channel sunscreens are so so important for your face <laughs> okay that is it for this skincare routine video i really just wanted to like kind of help you guys if you want to start a skincare routine because when i wanted to start i literally started from zero and i didn't know what i was doing or what order to put them in 
because I just didn't do enough research. So if you like this video, let me know. If this was helpful, let me know. If you have any suggestions, questions, anything, leave it down in the comments. I will 100% respond. I hope you are doing amazing, having a good day, good night whenever you're watching this, and I will see you in my next video. Thank you.